What? Another NASA Artemis set. But wait, a more detailed one just came out last year. But I'm telling you guys, this thing is kinda special because there will be an extra cool function. This rocket can actually take off, but how? Let me show you. My name is Zoltan, let's build. So yes, as I just told you, this launch system with the platform and the Artemis rocket already appeared last year in the Icons lineup. That one was a huge display piece, but it didn't have many functions. This, however, is a completely different concept. Just look at the box. Even the box art, you can tell something is sus. The model is clearly going to do something. So this is the 42221 set made of 632 pieces and it launches on January 1st, 2026 for 60 USD or Euros. So that's roughly nine cents per piece, which unfortunately isn't even a bad price per piece these days. And on the other side of the box, you can see it in its full glory. Inside the base, there is a fairly complex mechanism that basically fires the rocket. <laughs> wow. Okay, guys, so we have seven numbered bags, three extra Technic beams and two rods. Here is a fairly big sticker sheet and here is the manual which is 158 pages long and we have an extra picture of the real thing but unfortunately we don't have any extra details of this whole Artemis system but I can tell you I have to start with the, with the base of the build with that strange mechanism so I'm really excited. I can tell you guys how much I love this set already and I didn't tell you, but there will be four micro figures in this set. So let's start the build and let's see that strange mechanism. Well guys, if you have a child at home who's even a little bit interested in space, then this is a highly recommended set for you. <laughs> I mean, let me go even further. This can be a really good buy for basically anyone because it looks great and that function, that that's super cool. So for me, this goes straight onto the shelf. I'm not gonna take it apart because usually M does that. And we are really talking about a massive piece here. In its base form, this rocket is 18 inches tall, 6.5 inches wide and 3 inches deep, but if you launch it, it grows up to 27.5 inches, so it's gonna be huge. <laughs> Which means this rocket is, now hold on to your seats, built on 1 to 2107 scale, considering the real Artemis 1 block is about 322 feet tall. So yeah, this is a cool and huge model. But how does this function work? What surprises came during the build? Let me show you. So the build started with this gear thingy. 
At that point I had no idea what it was going to be, probably the heart of the mechanism. This is what it looked like after the first bag. Basically the launch mechanism is inside, this forest of gears ensured the rocket lifts off. Here you can see how the crank is going to work and the column is already in place. This will support the rocket. Then here's a new piece, which had to be threaded onto this long spiral thingy. This will connect the mechanism later. Here you can see how the whole thing will actually work because the rocket isn't here yet. So you can clearly see what's going to happen. And finally, I built the rocket itself, which to my surprise, it's only half built. The whole backside is completely hollow. And well, that's pretty much it. The Orion spacecraft went on top and the model was basically finished. So yeah, from building perspective, once again, this was a really cool build. And that mechanism, oh, that's so good. But now let's talk about the details and that function. So the whole SLS rocket sits on this black launch platform. Everything is nicely covered, but the front section can be lifted once the rocket takes off. And then you can see exactly how everything works inside. Then we get a sticker plaque with four astronaut microfigures, or in my case, five, because they include an extra one, so I put that one in this corner. Let's say he's the backup astronaut. We've seen very similar figures in the Southern Five set, but those have already been retired, plus there are some pretty differences. So these are unique figures. Then the two booster rockets needed a bunch of stickers, but with them, well, yeah. The rockets looks better. And please note that detail, they are not identical. One has a black section under the nose cone, but the other has white. Then there is this big, thick central liquid fuel rocket, which includes lots of pieces that haven't appeared in this color before. So yes, these brown pieces are new in this color, but unfortunately they are connected with the usual cheap looking blue pins. And well, they are not the prettiest. And finally at the top there is the Orion, which also had a bit of sticker decoration. Now if I turn it around, you can see that nothing is covered here, which I really like. You can literally look under the hood. Nothing is covered with plastic junk. So yeah, I especially love that. I know it's controversial, but I really like this hollow section because we can see everything. I mean the whole function, the whole functionality. All right, but how does it work? So here's this crank, just start turning it and Basically that's it. First, the rocket lifts off, revealing the previously hidden flames. If you keep doing, the solid boosters detach, and if you turn even more, the big central stage also separates, and the Orion breaks away at the top. But if I want to honest with you guys, mine jams a little. Up until the booster separation, everything is very smooth, but after that, things start to get stiff, so the Orion separation is a bit clunky. So this could have been made a bit smoother. And by the way, it also works in reverse. The rockets can return to their original position, like the SpaceX rockets. The upper section, the Orion spacecraft, is lifted by a chain connected to a string, basically like a winch. The string tightens inside this piece, and that's what pulls the Orions upwards smoothly. And since everything is open and hollow from the back, you can see everything. You can examine everything up close. Which I said, a big plus to me. And paired with the fact that you can also see into the inside of the platform, oh man, <laughs> if I were a kid, I would love this for sure. And here's one more extra bit. The bottom isn't covered either. Just like the underside of the Technic cars, everything is visible from this angle. So overall guys, I think this is a 10 out of 10 set. I mean, almost 10 out of 10. The building experience is nicely unique. The model has great dimensions and that function. Oh, <laughs> I really love it. If I really want to nitpick, I'd say the mechanism could be a bit smoother and it's a bit odd that they chose the SLS rocket since they released basically the same thing not long ago. And of course, the usual mantra, it could be cheaper. But aside from that, I've got no issues with it at all. This is a flawless set. So guys, now it's your turn. What do you think of this rocket set? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like what you saw, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye.